reacting to YouTube videos. So there's this guy on YouTube named James Charles, and we are going to be reacting to him. He's a boy that wears makeup, so let's see how this goes. He's kind of weird, as what people at school tell me, so that's why I'm interested. All right. Here we go. What do you guys want to do? Let's react to this one. Let's skip. Okay, guys. So, James Charles is this weird guy that wears makeup. So, like, he's kind of weird. Yeah, so just saying he's really, really, really weird. This is kind of weird so far. So this is him with no makeup, but he looks weird with makeup. I'm telling you. And this is one challenge that you guys have been requesting for so long. It is always one of the top comments on my videos. This challenge breaks all laws of makeup, and that is doing my makeup backwards. Okay, so he's doing his makeup backwards. As you see. How about we like to call a makeup routine? I personally like to start off with my base, then eyebrows, then eyes, then lashes, then lips, then finishing touches, but everyone likes to do a different routine. Some people start with their eyebrows, some people start with their eyes. Don't even ask me how they do that. But obviously the end goal, no matter where you start, is to look beautiful and confident. For today's video, I'm yes, going to go with you. upside down. With beautiful and confident, routine. that's backwards. what you should look like. Starting with setting spray and then finishing off with foundation, which is normally my first thing. I think you guys get the point at this okay, point. Okay, I wonder what it's gonna look like with his makeup on backwards. So I don't to give credit to, but I know both Tati and Michael Finch have done it. Please go check out the videos. They're absolutely amazing content creators. Mm -hmm. I love them both. But everyone who has done this has been using their normal makeup products in the opposite order. For me, I'm going to do everything in the opposite order, but I did switch out a few products I wonder where I'm going really to get to the makeup up, part. I, mean, I do want to try to make this the best looking result possible. Even Why does he have just backwards. a you blank I mean. Long background. story short, I am so I excited mean, for this. So without further ado, if, if you'd like to see video. my makeup routine completely backwards, let's get started. All right, let's see. Oh, that's his intro? All right, so, wow. so, so I'm starting off this look today by going with my Morphe Prep and Set setting spray. And I'm just going Why to does he need that? Entire face as a base to this makeup. Obviously, this is normally well, the last step. Well, he's a boy girl, set, as what some people say. Because he wears makeup. If you know what I'm saying. Second to last in my makeup routine, you guys know I usually finish off my looks with a liquid lipstick. For liquid today's lipstick? Video, that kind of sounds gross. Lipstick in the shade Ashton. I really, really love the shade, and I think it'll match really, really well with the look that I have planned. Fingers crossed that the eyes go well. Clearly, I can't believe this guy lipstick. wears makeup. I am a little bit worried about this, though, because while I love the Anastasia liquid lipsticks and all of their colors, they are a little bit drying. So hopefully, throughout this entire video and throughout the talking, they don't get, like, crusted at Sahara Desert status at the end. We'll see. Okay, this is kind of weird. <laughs> this looks so strange. Hello. Before lifts, I'm usually finishing off my eyes with lashes and you mascara. You look basic, I'm James. Like Come on. And blend them together with the mascara because I personally have a really, really hard time of putting on lashes. But how does for it, video, if he's a makeup expert, mascara, how does he have trouble with so eyelashes? Lord, help me in this situation. We might have a very, very geogon wonky last situation. What is geogon? For today's video, I'm going to be using the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. This is their brand okay. new 36 hour voluminizing mascara. I just got back from an amazing trip at Amai. I thought you said Benefit you didn't Cosmetics. like If you don't you, follow me on Zap, you definitely like, should. I posted everything over oh, there. It was so much mind. fun. But we're celebrating the launch of this mascara, and it is literally so, so, I still so, can't so good. believe this guy wears makeup. I mean, baby, he's a boy. Do you see how pretty my eyelashes look right now? Hello? Benefit girl, you snapped. So next I'm going to use girl, James, you're a boy. Course, I'm going to use my Lily Lashes and Miami's. These are my all-time favorite lashes. And I also just recently found out you can use code James for 10% off of these. I, mean, I know some of you guys okay, have used them before, but I didn't weird. even know that existed. So, hey, if you ever want to check out my all-time like favorite lashes, like, James, get the money off. I thought it was a... You're welcome. 
Okay. It was always gross. I mean, I just never like the sound of it. I think the one thing that's okay, really good about better. is that my eyeliner is going to come kind of look good, after James. my lashes so I get to hide all the mistakes that I just made. Woo! Before doing my lashes, I normally line my waterline, so today I'm going to do that using the Pretty Vulgar Nude Liner. Good job, James. I'm pretty impressed. And then comes Lord Lash Line Shadow, and for today's look, I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill Eyeshadow Palette. I guess you have to go from darkest to lightest, which is I not seen, like, this really video where he, like, made his palette to a cake. Yeah, tiny little, so, like, I mean, that palette just reminds me of it. Shade right in here and buff this right up against the lash line. Ooh, and that's course, pretty. I'm a wing, too, so I'm just going to pull this out slightly in the outer corner to make sure that that's blended together and there's no, like, really awkward divide. I'm next going to grab my Makeup Shock T61 brush and dip into this ready shade right here and use that to buff out the brown. I'm placing that right below and making sure that Okay. Really that's actually kind really of that actually like really looks really good. I mean, yeah, it really does. I, but of course leaving room because we don't want to pull it too far down. Finally, I'm going to grab a Smith 247 brush and dip into this bright orange and this kind of mac and cheese shade right here mixed together and then just buff that. Don't up. even know that color, but cool, I guess. So far actually, not that bad. Moving on to my upper Yeah, lip, my that's really not that bad, James. Eyeliner if I'm wearing it and for today's look, Yes, it does include eyeliner, so I'm going to grab the Tom Ford eyeliner pen and attempt to sketch out a wing. Yeah, I have no idea what makeup stuff you use, but it's on fleek. Oh, God. Someone told me at school he, like, cries when he messes up or something. Hey, did I just do it? <gasps> ah, I think I did. When it comes to these challenges, you guys might like to go big or go home, and normally next would be... It actually looks, like, pen. really look, good. to do... I'm probably gonna regret this. A glitter cut uh, crease. So I grabbed the Beach Cosmetics glitters in the shade what is, Sapphire and Mermaid Blue, and also the Bio Those are pretty pieces. colors. Normally, yes, I would do this first, then this, but let's be real, these are never gonna stick. So get over it. It's not that deep. I'm just gonna apply these with the darker blue in the outer corner, I'm bringing into the teal, and hopefully. We'll Ooh, that's this pretty. That's actually really pretty. Do you see this? Hello. Look at how good that crease is. I feel like we might be able to make this work. To set up the actual cut crease, I'm going to go back to my Jaclyn Hill. Oh my and gosh. That is so pretty. Shade. Once again, so much lower lash line. And oh, but me and Charles crease. like the pro at makeup. Woo, good job. Okay. Interesting. I'm next going to grab that same M508 brush. Me and my brother Christian made a video. It was the first video we made. Go check that out. And James reminds me of my brother, so go check out that video. I used to use all the time for doing cut creases. I kind of like it without the red. The normal technique of doing it was starting off with the lightest shadow and then working in and then just cutting it. But I used to do all my cut creases by stretching out the first and then the upper. So I feel like I may have the upper hand in this, but clearly it's not looking too great so far. So. I don't know. I'm going to really carefully blend that out. Clearly I still can't work. believe this guy wears makeup. I mean, before. wow, 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 wow. That's all I have to say. And then finally going to grab that mac and cheese tape from before and just go right over those edges. Mac and cheese What's actually shape. working in my favor here yeah. is that since they don't have an eyeshadow base on, if know. anything gets too intense, I can go just go over the blending brush and just scrub really, really hard, and it'll actually take off some of that product since it doesn't have a really skin tone. Okay, so that is what I have completely opposite. We still have some work to do, but, girl, but I'm going to go ahead and do it on camera in the same exact order. I promise, and I'll be... Me? You're uh, jeans. Sorry, guys. Listen up. I'm a gene that impacts your muscle comp. Right okay, here all right, I am back about 30 minutes later, and that is the second eye all complete, and this should be perfect. Okay, this so guy's like so hip. I mean, your makeup is on sleek. <laughs> the best. So before eyes, my makeup routine always comes my eyebrows, but I always fill them in. I think your eye gel, and then eyebrows already up. look good. You don't have to do anything, James. Grab some concealer and go right under this and be super, super careful not to overlap the eyeshadow, and then fill them in. Wish me luck. I have to try to imagine where... I'm going to actually fill in the eyebrow. All right, guys. Well, I think that's it for today. If you want more, if we get 10 likes, then I'll do part two. Or maybe just a little more. Actually, I'll do part two anytime you want, guys. Maybe today. Bye.